What's going on, Master Duel fans? James Polk here. Um, first things first. Uh, in regards of YCS Baloney about what happened uh, at the YCS. Uh, first of all, congrats to uh, Joshua Schmidt for becoming a four-time YCS champion with Runic Bistiel in TCG land at the time recording that this video is getting posted for one and more importantly uh duelist cup it's been literally nothing but back and forth on the rankings but we're still trying to uh push ourselves up no matter how good or tough the games are we'll push back and with this hand i'd say it's extremely nuts Nothing for the opponent. <clears throat> Top decks in perm, but we got better uses for it. Normal Madeline. Grabbing the hot cake. Free special pudding sister. Two together for teacher souffle. Teacher souffle. Detach pudding sister. Make herself become unaffected. Flourish hills. Discard changing seasons for misting ceilings. Revive. Pudding Sister, Pudding Sister 4, Pudding Princess. And it's go time for OTK strats. Burn itself, Misting Ceilings, Discard Hotcakes, Grab Angel Jelly, Revive Hotcakes. Hotcakes, Target Banish Duck for Gelato. Gelato getting Chateau. Chateau. You know, it is actually... A very good thing I'd had Teacher Souffle sticking around to make sure she's not affected by Nibiru. And speaking of Nibiru, Nibiru came up clutch in Game 3 of the Finals in YCS Baloney by Joshua Schmidt. So again, shoutouts to the world champion at Master Duel. With that said, Nibiru, and based on the uh, stat lineup, only if Chateau were to be included as well, 6,800 attack, 5,700 defense. Nibiru coming in hot. Okay, so original attack as it seems. Yep, combined original attack. So, turns out Chateau Winery's boost does not count towards that Nibiru token. So, in most cases, uh, thank you very much for clearing out all of the Madoches just so that Teacher Souffle shuffles back both Pudding Princess and gelato back to the deck instead of adding it to the hand. Ticket for Angel Jelly. Angel Jelly Tribute for Hotcakes. Teacher Souffle go up into Chocolate Alamo. Set Chocolate Alamo for Tiramisu. Two Monsters Crash. Hotcakes 2000 and pass. Okay, so tier limits cash Tira. So it could lead to either tier limits or cash Tira. Sends away birth and tier limits milling three of my cards. So in most cases, Madeline, Awakening Forest, and Promenade. Set, Sacred Sword, up to seven stars if you're not familiar with this old card it used to be nice nice during dragon ruler times and it made me think of uh, the card hasn't seen much in play these days anymore ever since uh dragon rulers in 2013 the case is banish a level seven from hand or field face up draw two so in most cases banished tier limits cash tira for the free two cards Specials Fenrir. 
Ben Greer will receive nothing because of impermanence and pass. Switch to attack, normal summon Angel Jelly, the impermanence is on, and it doesn't make a difference because this game is lethal. And this next matchup, this hand, super insane. Pressure planet, getting unicorn. Free unicorn. Unicorn getting birth. Um, sorry? Fangly, the soldier palm. Level one, fire plant. For some reason, that is a plant and not a dragon or anything else. 800 attack, no defense. If this card is sent from death to the grave by a monster of fed, free special, then if you control another plant, cut the attack and defense of one monster on the field in half. And then hard once on that effect. Soft once per turn. If this card on the field will be destroyed by a battle or card effect, send one plant monster from your deck to the graveyard instead. Um, okay, so one and a seven. That's um, level eight synchro. Well, that's a card. Chaos Ruler, Gamma Seal, Cyphrane Gear Gamma. Jet Synchron, Rhoda, Primeval Planet per Perlerino, no pickup, not even Gamma, activates Birth, Birth of Fed for Unicorn, Jet Synchron, Ditch, Telemint Screen, Hot Red Abyss, Now, board state. Hot Red Abyss, Omni Negate, and then Unicorn. Anything I do in terms of uh, monster effects, Unicorn will rip one right out of the extra deck, and then birth. Uh, if a spell card or effect of the spell was used, and I control a Cash Tira, DD Crow. Um, three cards from my graveyard to the banished pile face down. Dope. L let's see if we can do something about this. Cosmic Cyclone, the birth. Chalice, the hot red abyss. Putting Sister Free Special. And there's Max C. So that means not only we have to play through Unicorn, but... Taking the Max C challenge. Uh, putting sister. Attempt to special. Unicorn. Rip something out from the extra deck. Welp. Um, one tiramisu down. One to go. So that basically means we're going to have to play this game the hard way. In terms of. That one lone copy of Tiramisu for the rest of this game. Putting Sister 4, putting Princess. Let me take something out of this. Get the Hot Red. Burn itself, Misty Seelings, the Scar Flourishing Hails for Angel Jelly. And if you guys wondering, um, where's the special summon out of this? Uh, I actually couldn't because... Pudding Sister says that once the uh, effect of Pudding Sister resolves, no special summon 
throughout this whole entire turn except Madolce's. So, Angel Jelly with the real normal summon. Angel Jelly Tribute for Hotcakes. Two together for Tiramisu. Tiramisu. Oh! Tier Limits and Cash Tira paired up together. Interesting. So Tier Limits, Hoffness, and Hand. And as a result, uh, and Jelly, literally the only one that's going to get shuffled back, as well as uh, Pudding Sister, I believe. No, Pudding Sister and Angel Jelly. And then Hoffness, Trigger, getting ready to do some mills. And in the mills, are Maxi, Driver, and Rhino Heart. Two together. Shuffle the two back. Rhino Heart. Free special. Ditch the crime. Rhino Heart. Send Sharon. Sharon. For Telemans, Kaleido Heart. Kaleido Heart. Put back Hot Red Abyss. Hot Cakes. Target Banish Duck for Gelato. Gelato. Getting ticket specifically. Ticket activate. Tiramisu go up into chocolate a la mode. Two together for fresh sister tart. A la mode. Shuffle back gelato. Ticket. A la mode. Detach tiramisu. Hot cakes. Gelato. Gelato. Getting chateau. Chateau, Shuffle Bat Tiramisu, Alamo for Gelato, Gelato, Getting Salon, Salon, Two together for Tiramisu, Tiramisu, Only Gelato specifically for this shuffle because I rather leave my opponent a field spell just so that if my opponent draw into something like Lightning Storm, Evenly Match, Impermanence, none of those back row cards uh, will not be uh, able to get rid of the whole Modoche board. And on top of that, uh, Kalado gets spun back and then board has been established and broken and it's lethal. Salon for Promenade. 2000. 2000. And then the rest is history. And last but not least on this matchup, this hand, uh, we are going to town. So, the opponent better put up the most insane board of all boards. So, start off fresh with Bistio Lubelion for Magnamut. Okay, that pretty much makes um, Earth Statue become super useless because there are some punks that deals with uh them being an earth monster so the case about the whole punk lineup is that ziamen normal summon ziamen pay the six for folksy tune folksy tune trigger send and shinobi necro for the deer note and then sync eight for chaos ruler once again chaos ruler deer note for folksy tune Ziamen, Assault, Synchron, Chaos Space, Maxi, Maxi. So Assault, Synchron is the only thing to take. Ziamen, 
the zombie vampire. Zombie vampire. The four mills from each player's deck to grave. Chateau Winery Ticket. Madeline and Pudding Sister Mill. And then Black Dragon doesn't count. Alternative White Dragon doesn't count because it has to be properly summoned. Max C and Dictator of D. So opponent chose Dictator of D of all the things. Chaos Ruler. Banish Alternative. And Shinobi to bring it back. Shinobi Negro. Show me Baron. Oh! Dispater. Okay. Dispater. Bring back Chaos Ruler. Assault Synchron. Free special pay to seven. There's the Baron. Chaos Space. Bring back alternative to the hand. Magnuma, or not alternative to the hand, alternative to the deck to draw one. Magnuma Banish Black Dragon. Shatter Foil Black Dragon at that. Magnuma get a Dragon at end phase. Two together for Masterina. Banish the three for Chaos Dragon Levianir. Should be the Levianir for Lubelion and Branded Regain. So, board state. Dispater. Shuffling something from the banished pile into the uh, deck. Uh, my banished pile for the negate. And opponent's banished pile for the destruction. Baron Omni negate. Mascarina quick link. And then branded regain. Once I normal or special summon a monster. Free bestial from the graveyard back to the deck and of course Magnumut getting ball drake technically is there a um bestial in grave oh no he banished it for levy in here that's right top decks in permanence on this spader bar negate Normal Summon Earth Statue. Awakening Force, discard Vera. Um. What Earth Link monster do you even have in this extra deck? Because ain't no way that IP Mascarina just triggered. Ain't no universe. Yep, IP Mascarena activates her fey. So that means whatever Earth Link monster comes out, all I can say is this is going to be a tough battle. So Earth Link monsters. It's got to be either BLS Link or something else that I am not familiar with. So let's see what Earth Link monster that the opponent will make. Oh! Oh yeah, I forgot about uh, Saryuja being in Earth. Toss out hotcakes, revive Vera. Vernisilf, duck, discard gelato. Dispiter. Shuffle back chaos space. And it doesn't make a difference grabbing the rabbit. Revive Pudding Sister. Pudding Sister for Pudding Princess. Vera Steal the Spader. Switch to attack. Tumado Chase for Tiramisu. Tiramisu. The Tumado Chase spells and traps. And of course, the rest is history. So, guys, that's gonna do it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you haven't already, Smash the notification bell to keep yourself constantly updated, and we'll catch you guys next time.